60 Minutes Rewind. Titanic, uh, uh, to reduce it to the, the most simplest form, was <clears throat> Romeo and Juliet on a sinking ship. That's how I pitched it. I mean, I literally, I walked into Peter Chernin's office and I said, I had a, a beautiful painting of Titanic in a book. I opened it up and you saw the, the ship sinking and the lifeboats. You could almost hear the band playing. And I said, Romeo and Juliet on the Titanic. This, of course, is the, is the ship's wheel from the, from the set of Titanic. And uh, I keep this in my office because it's, because I know what it feels like to be the, at the helm of a sinking ship. <laughs> which, which is what it feels like on every movie that I make. It always like right now on Avatar, it feels like a sinking ship. You know, we're just trying to stay afloat long enough to get it done. It's a nice piece of work. It's beautiful. The, I mean, all the sets were more beautifully recreated for that film. It was gorgeous. It was a real. It was a real joy to do the photography on that film because everything was so richly textured and detailed. Titanic was shot the old-fashioned way in, in on film. Two on film, two-dimensional. 2D on film. Uh, I understand you're, through some magic, going to be able to m turn it into 3D. Right. We're so planning. it has a, another life. Sure, we're, we're actively planning on turning Titanic into, into a 3D film. It has to be done very carefully. And I think with what we've learned about 3D photography, we, we know how to do it and how to manage it so that it looks very real. And we've done some tests and it looks pretty good. But the richness and the beauty of the film will be will be enhanced by the by the stereoscopy. It'll put it'll put you on that ship much more so than you than you've ever felt before. So it'll be cool. Of course, and it also has the added value of being a nostalgia for a lot of people. Sure. So yeah, it'll be nostalgic, and you'll have people. But I mean, you know, Titanic isn't isn't sort of a creature of its time in the sense that it was really reacting to any kind of pop culture. Um, uh, st strains at the time, so you know there's no reason why it can't be just as fresh an emotional experience now or or 10 or 20 years from now. But when I say when I say nostalgia, I mean people uh, in their 20s will remember their golden youth. <laughs> sure, absolutely. Well, it's a Romeo and Juliet story, you know, and and uh, I think. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people went on dates, and saw Titanic, that are currently married and probably heading for divorce, you know, <laughs> as the as the reality of male female relationships catches up with the fantasy. So the the ship isn't the only thing that sinks. That's right, exactly. <laughs>